I was recently asked about machine made linen buttons and what was the difference between twofold, threefold, fourfold buttons. Um, and in the sort of rabbit hole that it took me down, because I really know nothing about um, these buttons yet. You know, I have some in my collection, but I haven't really gotten into all of the differences between all of these machine made buttons. So I thought I'd have a little look and within fabrics, fourfold could mean the thread that's used. Um, or it could be four layers literally four folded or three folded and so on. So I thought, okay, fair enough. I'll go through all of the different buttons that I have. And I have a lot on cards, so therefore saying what they actually are. But I didn't have one that actually said how many folds of linen it was. So I found one online and I thought, okay, that says fourfold. So let's do a button autopsy and find out, at least in this case, what fourfold actually means. So I'll use one of the ones that um, is more marked. So I'll take this one from here and we'll start a little button autopsy. So as you can see, the button is made in at least two parts. It's got a top and it's got um, a bottom. And so it will be made using a press and dies of some description. Um, and these sorts of buttons generally are the types that overtook and sort of destroyed the Dorset button industry, which again is why I don't know an awful lot about them. Um, so let me just put on my magnifying glasses so I can also see not only what you're seeing, but um, what I need to see. And I think that the easiest thing to do will be to make a little cut around because obviously these are going to be seriously pressed in and you could, to take apart any of these buttons, you could actually sort of cut straight across with um, cutters which I may well still do, but I'm going to try to do the nice thing first, and that is to simply cut through and see what this is. Now the linen itself appears to be highly glazed or starched. Um, it, it, it feels like it has um, a coating. Now I would expect that they would be starched. Now I have just been sent some uh, British patents, copies of British patents, which will give um, further information, which I'll add on as I read if any of these match up to what I've been given. So working from the back, there is one layer of fabric. As I say, that, that is quite stiff. It's uh, glazed, well, I would say it's starch is what it's going to be. It's going to be some type of starch formulation. Underneath we have another piece. Now this actually, it almost looks as though it's got paint on it. Um, which again is going to be some type of solution to strengthen up that linen. But as you can see, well I hope that you can see, it's appears to be a much coarser weave. This is actually what it is, whereas that is almost like um, a gauze or something that that's then had this coating put onto it. So again, I will cut this away. Yeah, this is, this is almost like a, a paint. So it'd be interesting to see if the patents match any of that, but you can sort of, I'm just gonna put this down and get the tweezers so that my 
fingers aren't in the way. It's got like a, a coating on it. So that's very interesting. And whatever that's going to be is going to be to help strengthen when it's sewn into place. So now we're all the way through to the front of the button. And there were only two layers on this back piece. And you can see that there's, there's like a ring on the inside on this particular button. So let's start from the front. And again, this is, is obviously got a starch of some description at the front, just the same, but not that coating that appears to, that, that's got a paint-like feel to it. Try to get as far over the edge as I can on this will help to let us see what the actual edge is made out of as well. So there is layer one. We definitely have another layer underneath there. We have at least one. Now this one appears to be sort of pasted up again. So, but there is only the one other layer. Now, this is interesting because does this mean that fourfold means two on the top and two on the bottom? That would make perfect sense. That equals four. This one has got a coating, a little bit of a coating, but it could just be a, um, a thicker starch. It's not got that, that paint-like quality of the one at the back. And then there we have the metal ring. So these two are obviously locking into each other. And what I'll do is I'll get some pliers out later and see if I can actually take that apart. Um, but you can sort of see if I peel this away. In fact, again, back to the tweezers so that my fingers aren't really in the way and you can see what it is that I'm seeing a little bit more. And you can see that that's the top layer is sort of locked in and so is the bottom layer. So it's basically two rings that are being um, press together to create the button. So there is our fourfold. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through some of these others that superficially look the same but don't state whether they're fourfold or anything and see if I can, as we go through, whether we have different numbers or whether they're all four as I think that would be quite interesting to see. But I'm assuming that fourfold on this literally means four layers of the linen. So we'll pop that over with its relevant card. And let's check one out that is not on a card at all. So I don't know if you can see this one has been used. It's got a couple of little threads at the front where it's been stitched into place because it's been stitched all the way through. It's got a very similar profile uh, in that that ring wraps around and it clearly goes there. There feels as though there is a depression there so that it is a ring inside. So again, I'll start with the back. So 
there's one layer Whoop. a little bit glazed but as I say this one's being used now on the inside of this it's virtually gauze and it's not got a coating it's not sort of been painted over like the previous one So it certainly seems perhaps less strong than the previous one um, would be advertising to be. The ring is larger, as we can see on that inside, but that could have something to do with the smaller size. So let's try the front. This is coming away quite easily, it's, it's ripping, but as I say, this one has, is one that has been used. So obviously it will have been subjected to the laundry at points in its life. So very smooth, fine fabric for the front and a lesser quality, uh, more open weave for the next layer. So if Effectively, if fourfold is four pieces, this perhaps was also advertised as a fourfold. Um, although, clearly, a different level um, when you see the quality of the thread, the fabric, is particularly that one. I mean, it's so, from the back, that is so see-through. It's like, not much point. <laughs> that won't have lasted as long. The rings themselves, though, are two very flat. That one's got a little bit of shaping there to join together and that was very flat at the back so that's quite interesting but I would say certainly a different manufacture process with those just slightly but probably enough to warrant some different type of patent or something so I'll just set that one aside and keep the pieces together so let's take a look at a Britain card of buttons so this one these are strong and durable okay uh, let's see let's take the bottom one as you can see a very old card we've got a similar arrangement on the back as the princess again but I did choose these because they were similar Now that one, the Britain buttons do not say whether they're fourfold, twofold, onefold. Well, I don't suppose they would say onefold. Hardly a selling point. And there we have one layer at the back. That's all, just the one piece of fabric. So let's try the front. If anyone does have any... Um, cards with any other fold advertised on it I'd really love to know what those cards are because obviously that's the only way you can do a proper investigation as to what the four means what the number means in button making as opposed to in threads let's say because it could mean four piece, pieces of threads twisted together so let's cut off that top layer. There we are, we have one. And the inside does appear to have a coating again, a white, a little bit like paint. You see, if you scrape at it, you can see that it, it sort of comes away. So it's some type of size is what I'd say it is. It's something like um, you would see on artist canvas. That's what I'm assuming that it will be and that will just help to strengthen what is clearly 
a, a more open weave, so a slightly less quality of linen. You can see some of it is crumbling as I cut and bend it. So there is just the one layer in there. But the ring itself is quite similar. A little bit more rounded perhaps on the edge to the princess. So if the four layers of the princess equals four lines, you would assume that the three layers here on the Britain is three lines. Um, and they may not be advertising them as three lines by this point, simply because the four lines are coming along and they're the three lines aren't quite as innovative as they once were. So let's pop those back together, put them over on the card. And so the last one to take a look at are the diamond. I'm going to use the card that I only have one left. Well, I don't know. Shall we do the diamond or shall we do West End button? Let's take a look at the West End button, simply because it says the silver plating prevents corrosion. Um, the card itself doesn't say how many, the, you know, the bits of card that I have left doesn't actually say how many uh, layers it is. So let's take this one that's quite dirty off the top here. Uh, it says it prevents corrosion, but it's definitely picked up the blue from the uh, card here, or it's a bit of corrosion through there. So that's interesting. So we'll again start with the back as before. And as before, they have some type of glazing. You can feel it, even if you, um, if the camera's not picking it up, you can feel that it, it's been starched or glazed in some way. Sized, perhaps. I think those patents will come in handy for that. So, one layer. There's another layer here. It is a, um, a looser weave and it does have that size on it again. Um, but as a loose weave, it's more similar to the princess in that it isn't a super loose weave. It's, you know, it's still quite a good linen. I mean, we'd, we would love it to do embroidery on today, I reckon. Quite a nice even weave. Um, <laughs> so again, it's got the coating on it. So let's turn over and see what we've got on the top. It's interesting because the outer coating that is on it does feel very different from the coating on the inside. Now, whether that is time and exposure or whether the outer one is a starch and the inner one is something, some other type of um, size to make the feel it feel different. That's a lovely linen. The outside, another one on the inside. Again, same sort of quality as on the bottom. And again, sized or otherwise coated. I'm definitely going with the sized thing because it really does look like artist canvas. So again, a possible fourfold. Now, that is definitely a lot more silver color on the inside of that as well. So perhaps they weren't lying when they said they, they were silver plated.
Very nice. So yeah, still quite bright in most of the places. You can see that it's uh, discolored a little bit, but that's a nice ring as well. Very fine ring for the inside piece. So as I say, I'll see if I can um, get some metal cutters and see if I can cut these off, but I doubt that I will be able to. I doubt I will have the strength to be able to do that. So a possible fourfold. Um, so that's where we're at. Um, if the idea of a fourfold button does mean four layers, then you can see how that would be um, a stronger button in that there's less layers to go through, especially when you're comparing with some of the others, you know. However, saying that, if that was still classed as a fourfold, we can see that with the, that gauze is almost not worth putting on, um, frankly. <laughs> It must have added a little bit of extra strength and it may well have been that it had been sized and it's been through the laundry and that's what's been lost. Um, however, it was off the garment. So again, you never know. So I hope you found that interesting. And if you know any more about the folds with specific regard to buttons made with a press. I'd really like to know and I know quite a few other button people who would also really like to know. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully I'll be able to do a few more um, button autopsies and do let me know if there's a particular thing that you're interested in finding out and if I have the buttons that are in a condition I can take apart, I'll take a look for you. Take care of yourselves now. Bye-bye.